Time's now approximately half six in the morning. Sun's just about to come up over there. Been in this bottom corner of the field since about half five. Um, this is what I found so far. Elizabeth Penny, um, Georgia Fifth Penny, Spindle Whirl, Old Button, and a bag seal with a bit of writing on it. Got another signal here, and now that it's light, I'm gonna video. Wait, I'm gonna start videoing as uh, recording finds. There's definitely something in there. It's reading as if it's like sort of in in half penny sort of. Uh, no, it's not half penny. Either a button or an extremely worn coin. It's an extremely worn coin. Looks like a George, no, William the Fourth, possibly. Either William the Fourth or George the Fourth. Can't quite see. I don't want to rub it too hard because uh, I'll freak out my US v um, viewers. <laughs> but uh, I can't see anything on that side. It's totally worn away. That side, you can get a, a bit of a bust there. Not sure. I'll clean that one up and let you have a look at the end. Sorry, I couldn't resist giving it a little bit of a rub. It's knackered anyway. But it's George the Fourth, sixpence. Just about make out the four there. Georgius, four, DG. Nothing at all on the other side. Absolutely knackered. But um, I've got another signal here. This one's jumping around all over the place on the right hand side of the screen. which sometimes the deep small coins tend to do. That's not a coin this one though, the musket ball. Kind of mid-sized musket ball. Found quite a lot in here recently, so that's a good find, I like that. This one's reading 12 was it 12.15 on the E-Track? There you go. Uh, set the camera away because that's kind of where hammered hits. This isn't hammered. But uh, it does look ext extremely old. Yeah, not sure whether I'm going to get any detail off that. Although it does have some writing on. I'll have a look and if there's anything worth reporting I'll get back to you later. This one's reading 1318. And it's in here somewhere. It's lead. This one's reading quite low down on the scale, 21, 28. Which I normally wouldn't bother digging, but um, it gave a lovely sweet tone. So I'm kind of trusting my ears on this one. And it's probably a big lump of crap. Yeah, it's not a lump of crap. It's a very old worn coin. Another one. Very similar to that previous coin I got. Probably an old half penny of some sort. Just dug a lump of uh, lead here. Which obviously is no good for anything, but in the same hole, it's actually a tiny little old bottle. Nice one, so I'm going to keep that. I've had quite a few of these in this field. I've no idea what they are. So if anybody has any ideas, they can let me know. I think it's some sort of copper. This is a hole through here, a hole through the middle there. This has like a spike on the end. And it looks like it's been fixed to something here. Like by a screw or a nail or something. 
But as I say, I have no idea what they are. This is a very, very solid signal, 1243, which is always worth a dig. But unfortunately, I can't find anything in the hole. It's not in the hole. I've dug it out already, that's why. There it is, it's another big, really old coin. Probably is another half penny, but I'm not sure. This one's reading 10.35, and it's right on the top. Now normally that would be a good signal, but with it not being very deep, I'm not sure. Yep, it's a tag off a dog or something. Bullivant. 59 East Law. Tasha, it's a dog tag. I've left the ploughed fields and come into the <clears throat> grassland at the side of it, quite just near where I used to live. I've got something reading 1245, which is normally a good signal. And it hasn't let us down again. The big Georgian penny, so that'll be either late 1700s or early 1800s. Almost back home now, and this is probably going to be the last dig of the day. It's reading 12.34. And it's another half penny. A bit more modern, that one. Possibly a Victoria. Can't quite see. Yep, early Victoria. Okay, back in the house now. Um, this is a result of about five and a half hours hunt. Um, starting from the top or the bottom, we've got half pennies, ranging from I think George the second up to Edward the seventh, so mid seventeen hundreds through to early 1900s. There's a cat's eye there that you get on the side of the road. It's a red one, so I'm going to stick that one on my wall so when we pull up in the car you get a, a red eye. I need another one of those. They look quite evil. Um, these are old pennies. This, what I thought was a Georgian penny, is actually a bank token. You just make out one penny written on the back, but with no bust or anything on it. It's in terrible condition as well. Uh, that's an old father, not sure whose it is. Modern penny. These things, which when I was digging up, I was seeing I find quite a lot of these. No idea what they are, but I find a lot of them in these fields. A buckle, quite a nice button. Another couple of buttons. A bag seal with a bit of writing on. What looks like a badly shaped spindle wheel. See a little bit of pattern around there. I don't know whether they used to press them or what, but uh, they've obviously made of balls of that one. Two musket balls, one from a rifle, one from a pistol. Um, some sort of lead with a bit of um, pattern on. And probably the only thing worth keeping, although it's very black at the minute, is a George the Fourth sixpence. Hardly got any detail on this side. It's a little bit of detail on that, you can just about make it out. And in my next video, I'm going to show how I clean this up. That's the George IV sixpence cleaned up. Other side's knackered. This side, you can just about make out a bit of writing. Portrait's not too bad after cleaning. Um, it's a bit of a knacker actually, the coin, but at least you can see the portrait. You know roughly how old it is, it's early 1800s, so that makes the hunt worthwhile.